tell you a story that will explain to you the first three years of the neurobiology of pain that you would study at university. Eight years ago, I was walking in the bush. I had a sarong on. <laughs> Very cool. This is what happened. Did you see that? <laughs> Hang on. This is what happened. Biologically, I'm going to tell you what happened just then. Something touched the outside of my left leg in the skin. That activates receptors on the end of big, fat, myelinated, fast-conducting nerve fibres. And they stream straight up my leg, straight into my spinal cord, up to this part of my brain. And they say, you've just been touched on the outside of your left leg in the skin. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, whatever it was is sufficiently intense to activate free nerve endings. We call them nociceptors. They're thin, unmyelinated, slow-conducting larder neva. Someone knows what a larder neva is. <laughs> nerve fibres. And that message travels up to my spinal cord and it gets to my spinal cord and that's as far as it goes. And it says to an, a fresh neuron in my spinal cord, uh, you've just been... Uh, something dangerous has happened on the outside of your left leg in the skin. Mate. <laughs> and the spinal nociceptor takes that message up to the thalamus, which sits in there somewhere, and says, uh, there's danger on the outside of your left leg in the skin, mate. <laughs> now, the brain has to evaluate how dangerous this really is. So it looks at everything. And the way that I make sense of this, of what happened to me, is the brain thought, frontal lobe, have we been ever anywhere like this before? Hang on, I'll just ask the posterior parietal cortex. <laughs> Have we been in this environment before? Yes, we have. <laughs> has it happened at this stage of the gait cycle? Yes, it has. Is it coming from the same location? Yes, it is. What is it? Well, your whole life growing up, you used to scratch your legs on twigs. This is not dangerous. I'm going to give you, the organism, just something so you can kick off the twig and con continue on your merry way. And that's what happened to me. I can't show you now, but I took off my sarong, <laughs> got in the river, got out of the river, and that's the last thing I remember, uh, having been bitten by an eastern brown snake. Survivor. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, for some reason, the eastern brown snake works by, by poisoning you, clearly, and one of the things that it does is activates nerve fibres. So, actually, my brain would have got all these messages saying, danger, 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 danger. And in its wisdom, it said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Six months later, I'm walking in the bush with a boring talker. You know what a boring talker is? Those people, it doesn't matter what they say, it's boring. <laughs> That's irrelevant, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call her Naomi. <laughs> because that is her name. <laughs> anyway, this is what happened, right? <laughs> oh, wah! And I am in agony. I have got a white hot poke of pain screaming up my leg. I'll tell you biologically what's happened. Something touched the outside of my left leg in the skin. That activates big, fat, myelinated nerve fibres, which send a message zzz, zzz, up to here. Just me touching the outside of your left leg in the skin. <laughs> it's sufficiently intense to activate these free nerve endings, danger receptors. Take the message to my spinal cord. Just been uh, something dangerous has happened on the outside of your left leg in the skin. Yeah. <laughs> well done. You weren't planted. That goes to the thalamus and says the same thing. Something dangerous has just happened on the outside of your left leg in the skin. Right. So the brain says, thanks very much, thalamus. Kids are right? Good. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> frontal cortex, anything to tell me about this? Hang on, I'll ask the posterior parietal cortex. Where are we? We're walking in the bush. Oh. <laughs> You're a bit mate happy. Uh, this stage of the gait cycle, where's it coming from? Have we been here before? Oh, yes, we have. Last time we were here, you almost died. <laughs> I'm going to make this hurt so much that you can do nothing else. And I was in absolute agony for what seemed like minutes, screaming pain, until one of my mates looked at my leg and there's a little scratch from a twig. <laughs> the pain in those situations was totally different because of meaning. 